Welcome to Zinc LED Solutions tutorial. This tutorial will cover how to use basic functions of LED Show TW. After you extract your software and install it, click on the BX LED Show TW icon on your desktop. First, we need to configure the parameters of the software before doing anything to make sure that the software understands which sign we're working with. Now to do so, you need to click on Setup in the menu bar, then Set Screen Parameters. You need to enter the password 888 and then Enter. Now we are working with the BX5 series in this tutorial. Please check the back of your LED screen to find out which controller you're working with. Today we will configure the BX5UT. This controller is used with screens up to 8 panels wide and 2 panels high. Now first you need to pick your controller from the drop down menu. Once you choose BX5UT, the communication mode will adjust to USB storage device. Once this is done, you need to adjust the width and height. To figure out the width and height of your screen, please check the back of your sign. In case you don't have this information, it's really simple. If you have one row of panels, then your height is 16. Your width will be the number of panels times 32. So if you have four panels wide screen, then the width is 4 times 32, which will be 128. Now, if you have two rows of panels, that means two lines, then your height is 16 times 2 equals to 32 um, pixels, and your width is the number of panels of one row only times 32. Now, once this is done, you need to pick the screen color, if you have a red only or white only sign, then you need to, to pick single color. In case you have a red, green and yellow sign, then you need to pick the two color options. The final thing you need to adjust would be the data polarity and the OE polarity. If you are working with a one color sign, then the data polarity should be negative and the OE polarity should be high. If you are working with the RGY or two colors, then the data polarity should be positive and the OE polarity should be low. Now, once this is done, click on save and then close. To create the message, once the configuration is done, you can see a virtual screen showing us exactly how our message will appear on our real sign. We can zoom in and out for a better view. We can create different programs and every program can have a different number of messages. We can run all programs at the same time or pick and choose by checking the programs we want to run. To create the messages of a program, you need to click on Subtitle, which is the small icon here that looks like a notepad. Once you click it, you will notice a new bottom page appear. Before writing a message, you need to stretch the edges of the box all the way by hovering over the edge with the mouse, then click and stretch. Now to write your message, you need to click on the same notepad icon that we have here on the bottom of this page. In this window, you can write your message. You can adjust the size. You need to highlight it, make it big, make it a little smaller. Um, you can change the font. You can pick any of the fonts that you have available here. There's tons of them. Um, you can make it bold. We always recommend to make it bold. Um, simply because it will be using um, two lines per letter instead of one line of LEDs, which is going to make it stand out even more. Um, you can pick and choose the colors that you want. If you have a red, green, or yellow screen, you can pick even every uh, letter or every word can be different color. 
Now, once this is done, you close the, um, the box. You don't need to save it. You don't need to do anything. And once you, once you close the window, um, the message is already saved. Now, once this is done, you need to adjust how you want your message to be displayed. Now, if your message fits inside the virtual screen, such as our message here, then you can choose any of the display methods effects available in the list. Or what you can do, and again, and this is only if your message fits inside the virtual screen, you can pick random, and what's going to happen is that the program is going to pick a random effect every time it loops. So giving you different effects every time and not just one specific effect. Now, if your message, for example, if we write here, Zinc LED Solutions, um, if your message is bigger than the virtual screen, then your display method must be continuous move left. Unless you're writing in, I guess, Hebrew or Arabic, then it has to be continuous move right. Now, we highly recommend that you do not use long messages. Try to keep them short and sweet. People are usually in transit and they don't have the time to read a long sentence. Now, once you pick your display method, you need to control the run speed. Now, the run speed is basically how fast you want the display method to show. We recommend a speed number one or two when your message fits inside the virtual screen because we don't want it to take a long time for the effect to create the message we are displaying. Now, in case we are using continuous move effect, then the speed 3 or 4 is a suitable speed. However, we always suggest that you test the speed by standing where your traffic is passing by and judge for yourself and put yourself audience position and see if you have enough time to read the message and what would be, um, you know, what would work for you. Now, if your message fits inside the virtual screen and your display method is anything but continuous move left, then you have the option to hold your message. So if you change this one here to random, for, for example, we adjusted the run speed. Now you'll see here you have an option now for a hold time. If it was continuous move left, the hold time option is not even available. So we put it back to random. The hold time is basically an option for you to have your message stand still for an X amount of time. Now, in this case, it's an increment of 0.5 seconds. So, for example, if you want for your message to hold for 3 seconds, then your hold time number here should be 6, and so on and so forth. Now, to create another message, you need to follow the same steps you have used before. What you need to do is you come here and you click on the subtitle again. You write your message, um, hello. You adjust the font, if you keep or you keep it, adjust the color, adjust the size, make it bold, and again, same thing. Like try, if you have your word like this, try to center it. You close your window, work with your display method. So you pick and choose which one you want. Again, if your message fits inside the virtual screen, we recommend random run speed one two or if you want it slower completely up to you hold time again in increments of 0.5 seconds so for three seconds you put six for four you put eight and so on and so forth now please again make sure your messages are short and sweet if you can have each message fits inside the virtual screen it would be even better like this every time someone outside is attracted by the screen he or she can get a message out. As long as you're using one line, so that means, like in this case, you're using the whole screen, you can keep on adding messages here by clicking subtitle, creating your message, closing it, 
adjusting the display methods, run speed, and so on and so forth. And you can create up to 20, 30 different messages, no problem with that. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how you, ha you can divide your screen into two lines. And obviously, this is only and only if you have two panels. The height of your screen is two panels plus. If your screen is one panel only, you can actually can divide it into two. However, the, um, the font will be too small, so we do not recommend it that much. So to create the two lines, what you need to do is you come here, you click on another program. So like this, the first program is you using the whole screen on its own. Now the second program, we're going to be dividing it into two. Now we want to make sure that the border, so once, once we click on program, we have this option here where we can adjust or remove the program completely and the program is as you can see here is what you know goes around the screen while scrolling so you can adjust it by also like making it thinner and obviously the thinner it is the less space the border is taking giving you more space to write the messages or you can actually just remove it altogether now once this is done like we did before we clicked subtitle however we have to click subtitle twice now since we are dividing it into two screens so what we do is we click on the subtitle tool we drag it all the way down we also do the same thing we hover over the screen here and we adjust it we stretch it all the way up all the way uh, to the side same thing with subtitle 2 so like this as you can see we created subtitle 1 so we divided the screen into the first one giving you the width here 128 which is the width of your four panel signs and the height 16 so we divided here by 16 same thing with the subtitle number 2 width 128 height 16 same concept just like program 1 when we have subtitle and we have different um, messages here program 2 for the subtitle 1 we have this new uh, page here we also click on a subtitle here we write our message so for example in this case zinc LED now we highlight as well make it bold uh, we can center it or what we can also do is we can highlight it and stretch it as you can see here once this is done we can close it same concept we adjust the display method if it fits inside the virtual screen random speed you know one or two whole time eight for example now for subtitle 2 which is completely different now is if you have another screen altogether you can control it completely separately you also click on subtitle you write let's say solutions same concept, highlight, bold, make this one green, we center this one like that, and we close it, same concept, random, 2, and 8. And like this, what's going to happen is we're going to have the first line running zinc LED all the time, and the second line solutions. Now, if we want to run something after zinc LED on the first line, we can also add it here by clicking subtitle, same thing more messages hello adjust it completely different boom hello center it if we want also random to six and on subtitle two hey boom boom also Close it, adjust, always make sure you don't forget to adjust the display method, the speed, and the whole time. Now, what we want to do, if we want to see how our message or how our program is running, we can click on preview just to see how our, our messages are going. So as you can see, Zinc LED on top, the first line is running on its own, doing its own thing as its own screen. Um, same thing with solutions, is doing um, solutions and a different message after. And it keeps going on and on and on like this. And once this is done, you can close this. And once this is done, then um, basically all you need to do is send your message to the USB key. Now, before doing so, you have an option of a timer. <clears throat> so a timer that's going to 
turn the screen on at a certain time and turn it off at a you know another time and it's gonna do this on its own. Now to do so you can come to common commands, click on common commands, click on time for switch, click on set timing on and off. Now turn on, you want it let's say seven o'clock in the morning, turn off let's say at eight o'clock, which is in this case it's 20 hours. You click on save, you click on close, and it's ready to go. Now, once you are ready to save your program, you make sure everything is ready, your display method, your run speed, your messages, everything is the way you want. What you need to do is you need to insert your USB key into your computer, and you come here and you click on this icon that looks like a USB key. You'll have this new window. It's gonna the program usually detects your 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 USB key automatically. In this case, we have Zinc. Um, and once you're ready, all you need to do is click on Save. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna? Well, in this case, we have an existing program, so it's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite the original program. You click OK, and it's gonna give you a message here saying save the program to the USB device successfully. Once this is done, that means the software is already on the USB key. You take out the USB key and you put it in the um, in the USB slot inside your machine um, for about, I would say, about maybe 10 seconds. But you'll see it's going to blink, blink, blink. And then once um, it downloaded the, um, um, the, the software or the program that you've created onto the controller, it's going to stop blinking and the message is going to start running. And this is when you know that it's done. You can remove your key and you know your message is already playing the way you want. What I always recommend, make sure that you look at the messages uh, from outside to make sure that everything is the way you want, the speed and everything is you know done um, the way you want it. And once everything, if you need to adjust anything, obviously you can do that. You do the same, um, the same steps. You save it and into the uh, the machine into the sign. Once everything is done, then your message, your uh, your sign is ready to go. So that's it for today. I hope uh, the tutorial was clear. Uh, however, if you have any questions um, or concerns, please do not hesitate to call our technical support. We'll be more than happy to help you um, get your software and your program up and running. And again, just uh, last thing, please keep your messages short and sweet. We want to make sure that you get the best out of your, your, your sign. You want to make sure to keep in mind that people are in transit and they don't have a lot of time to sit down and read, you know, um, a whole text. So just make sure you go give them what, what's more important uh, in terms of, uh, you know, your services, your products and uh, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much and all the best.